What is going on everybody? TechStuziast here and in this video I will show you how to play Perfect Dark the N64 game natively on your Android device. Now at the time of making this video there are no touchscreen controls supported so you will have to use a Bluetooth control pad or an Android device like an Odin or a Retroid Pocket. Alright so once we scroll down on this GitHub page uh, it tells you how to install the game so you need to get the APK, get the ROM and there are two versions. 1.1 is the recommended version and I can't tell you where to get this from. You will have to obtain it for yourself. Make sure the game is extracted and it is in the .z64 format, not in a zip file. Now there is a MD5 checksum next to it. This is basically the working version and this should match the game that you get. So what we can do is install an app called HashCalc from the Play Store just to make sure it matches the checksum. And I'll show you how to do that. So I've got it already installed. We're going to open the app and then click on the icon on the top left hand corner. Select File Checksums. Choose File. Now I'm already in my Downloads folder. This is where the ROM is. So it needs to be in .z64. Select it. So here it is and then click on calculate file MD5 and at the bottom you've got the MD5 checksum so this should match the one on the github link page. As you can see it does. So what we're going to do next is scroll down to assets and download the APK. I've already got it downloaded so I'm not going to download it. I'm just going to go to my home screen and open a file explorer. I'm using the archiver it's fast and free so I'm going to go to my downloads folder and find the APK so here it is click on install then install again I'm going to click on done and here is the app or the game so I'm going to select it and here we need to find the ROM and the working folder is here as you can see so we're going to click on select ROM and then find the ROM. So again, I'm in my downloads folder. You might have a different folder. Select it and the game boots up straight away. As you can see here. So by default, it is already on the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Anyway, let's just get into the game. So I'm going to select a new file obviously and just leave the default name for now. And just go into Karangan Institute. And there are other modes here you can you know try that later for yourself. So the left analog stick obviously moves around as you can see. And then the right stick is to move your camera around. So we've got both of these working perfectly. Alright, so I'm just going to click on start and have a look at the menu. So I've got a few options here. So you can go to solo missions or exit the game. Now if you press right, you come into options. Firstly, we've got audio with four settings here. Then we've got video. Then we've got control. So I'm going to go to control style. So there are a few layouts, about four layouts to be precise as you can see from here. There are some subtle changes and you can see the changes on the right hand side. I'm just going to leave it on default. And then we've got other settings there as well. So I'm not going to change anything now. You can you know, have a play around yourself. Now if we go to display again, quite a few options available here. And yeah, you can have a look for yourselves cheats i'm not sure if this was in the original game but it is here then we've got cinema two options there and then extended so we've got video so if you go into that now we can change we'll toggle full screen but although for me it only allows 1080p and as you can see there are other, a bunch of options here i'm not sure what changes it can do but i will enable fps and yeah, so there are other options there, so I'm just going to exit and you can just find that for yourself. 
So I'm just going to press start and go into solo missions and see how that goes. Alright, so we've got the cutscene playing, so there seems to be no issues here. And again, you can see this is full screen, widescreen. So yeah, there you have it. This is basically how you play Perfect Dark natively on your Android device. Now hopefully in the future we do see uh, touchscreen control support and hopefully there are some HD textures to make it even look better than it is. So yeah, that wraps it up for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If it is your first time here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video. Who are you and what are you doing here?